Hey folks, uh, it's RK Gamer here. Going for a different format where it's more spooky and you don't see my face. And because I've got so many games to actually get through on the, this pickups video, um, I think it's just easier if I kind of like bring them in, take them out, as opposed to me. As opposed to you looking at my face for like 10 hours or whatever. So, let's get started. We have so many games to get through today. Um, and I'll start off with these right here. This is the big FIFA bundle I got um, on eBay. I don't know if I can get them all on the shot here. Um, basically, um, I saw all of these um, going for like a couple of quid or whatever, and no one, and no one was buying them. Um, let's start off in chronological order here, shall we? And there is a little bit of a story behind these. 50,005. I already had this. Um, yeah, there's not much really to say. Uh, this one did not come with a manual, so that is not complete. Um, and yeah, that uh, you know, considering there was four more things coming through here, uh, I didn't see this as really a, a bad, uh, bad thing to have a second copy of. FIFA 07 does not come complete. Um, I don't remember playing FIFA 07 so much, um, though I was having a conversation with a friend of mine who we do play FIFA games together, and um, we played, was it FIFA, the latest one, FIFA 12, whatever, and um, I'm starting to think that when they started going for this, uh, like, 06, it might have even started 06, so when we started going for this 06 era, um, Stuff started going a bit downhill, but 07, uh, not complete, no manual. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, tagline This is the season. Yeah, so this is this is apparently the season. Didn't go in chronological, I've only just realised I did that. 05, 07. Now, 06. Uh, the reason I decided to pick up this, this um, plethora of um, football games. Um, in a bundle, because I wouldn't normally have done it this way. It did work out cheaper in the long run, but I don't really like getting bulk football games in, because it just makes all of the live stream videos really boring, I think. Um, but it, this FIFA 06 here came with a special edition DVD. I have not watched this DVD, but I always think it's nice to have these things. Um, you know, ev even if they're just kind of sitting there, you can say, well, you know, I've got the uh, the special edition DVD. And this comes with, um, let's see here, comes with producer Hugh Record presenting FIFA 06 Total Football. First look at the new screenshots and tutorial. Basically it tells you how to play FIFA 06. Tagline for this DVD, Total Football. Dun -dun 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 Total Football. Um, so yeah, that's the DVD. 06 itself comes complete with the consumer information as well. Um, yet again, not entirely sure how this plays. I, I kind of got out after 05, I think. Uh, tagline again, total football. Na 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 So, yeah. Um, FIFA 06, it's in there. I don't know whether FIFA 06, the DVD itself, is complete, because, you know, unless there was an insert in here, I don't know. But I imagine they gave this away as, um, like a pre-order bonus or, or something. I don't know. And then finally in that package, I haven't got any of the stickers off these, and I've only just realised. I'm sorry, you're going to have to put up with a sticker, sticker full pickups video. Um, oh, how do I, how do I even properly say this? 2006 FIFA World Cup, or if you want to go by the title, 2006 FIFA World Cup Germany 2006. Or is that three zeros and a six? Or is that's definitely a six there? So four zero. Three zeros and a six, and this red thing. So yeah, FIFA World Cup Germany 2006 comes complete. It's all that tagline. Your dream, your FIFA World Cup. There we go. Um, so yeah, the story behind these is these were all listed as in broken English at least. Game with manual. Uh, well, game. Sorry, games with manual. So. You could either take that to mean that all of these games came with the manuals, or um, there was one game 
Well, no, there were multiple games and they all had manual, single manual, I don't know. Um, but basically, uh, I emailed the, the guy who sold these and he said he was working for an agency or something, so he literally picks up the items from the back and uh, brings them through. So, unfortunately, out of the whole bundle, I am left with... Because uh, I've already got a 2005 with the manual, I am left with a FIFA 07 without the manual. I did complain to the guy and said, you know, can you sort me out any refund or anything, or, or not a refund per se, but give me some kind of cash back. He offered me 50p, which I have yet to see, but that would also mean that I got all of these games for about 70p. So, I don't know. I'll see if he refunds it. If he doesn't, I just won't give him good feedback, or feedback at all. So, that's the big FIFA thing out of the way. Um, to change things up a little bit, dramatically, uh, here's FIFA 2003. I don't actually remember what I got this. Oh, wait, I do remember the bundle I got this in. Give me a sec. So, it was like that. Uh, it was that and that. And what was the other one? It was this, wasn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, again, another big bundle from uh, an eBayer who was literally just putting games up which weren't selling. Um, so I got in there last second and, and got all of these games. Um, so, yeah, FIFA 2003. Comes complete with a sticker from GameStation, I believe. Tagline. The most immersive, authentic football experience. Now, is this a double? I can't remember. We're getting to that point now. Uh, FIFA 2000, yeah, so this is a, this is a double. Um, I played this already on the live stream. This plays like ass compared to iterations two years later. 2004 is going to be the big one for me, because 2005 is pro. 2003 is shit, so... Is 2004 going to be that rocky middle ground? I'm not sure. Uh, NHL hits 2002, and I noticed... Uh, well, that's a bit... I need to sort that out. That's sticker residue. But uh, I noticed on the side here, they do this gay naming thing where it's like 20 ot 2 Which, yeah. Um, that could well be... Chris Pronger, or whatever, I don't know. Let's find Chris Pronger and, and do a little comparison here. So, is this Chris Pronger? Probably. Yeah, they all like the same guy, don't they? So, yeah, that's Chris Pronger, definitely. I'm going to call it definitely Chris Pronger. Um, it comes complete. Tagline. We know it. With a Z. So you know they mean business. Um, I expect this to play like a hockey game. I expect this to play like 2003, but maybe worse. NFL Street. Uh, yet again, with loads of uh, loads of stickers over there, 14.99. Um, I always like the idea of playing football games. When I come around to playing football games, I'm always... Um, what's the best way of putting it? I'm always... Well, I, I'm I'm not accustomed to playing them, obviously, um, being in Britain. Um, so I always kind of f up on plays and stuff like that, and don't quite understand some of the rules. Like, there will be situations where I'm running, and then all of a sudden, game like the, it just stops, and someone's fouled. Something I don't know. So maybe maybe if I go into the street environment, I'll be able to pick this up a little better. Uh, comes complete. Tagline. Oh wow. Where are we going to go for a tagline here? Oh, here we go. American football stylized, attitude energized. It's a bit of a bit of a broken English kind of tagline, but cool. NFL streak. If we're going by the sticker here, Woods Tour 2004. Though we all know it's Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2004. Golf games. Uh, I went into a game station recently, actually looking for some GameCube games, uh, even though I know that they. Don't really stock them anymore. And all the shelves had in the retro section was Tiger Woods PGA Tours on the Xbox. It was just plastered. The whole thing was just Tiger Woods PGA Tours. It was insane. Um, so Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2004 anyway. Two disc. I did not expect um, a two disc Tiger Woods game when this came through. I, I expected 
I expected a, a one disc Tiger Woods game. I mean, you don't really expect to go through two discs on a, on a game like this, considering you think games like Resident Evil 4 and Bait and Katos um, are two discs. Um, Tiger Woods just really doesn't hit you as a two disc game. Resident Evil 4 as well, two discs. Just, just doesn't. Uh, tagline Can you beat me? It depends what with. This man looks like he's ready to beat anyone. Um, so yeah, it comes complete, and it's in there. And finally, in this bundle I got from uh, this eBay, Godzilla! Destroy All Monsters Melee. Love the title for this game. Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee, or G-D-A-M-M, -M, or Godam. Godam! It's kind of like Dam and Goday from... yeah. Um, I've played this. This is, is pretty nuts in all the ways that you expect it to be nuts. It's not particularly great. It's fun if you can look past the idea of there being a game there. Um, if you just want to go around and just basically beat the crap out of someone and both of you be on the, the, like the same level playing field because no one really wants to learn the mechanics, let's say. Um, this is really fun in, uh, in certain ways. It comes complete with a hefty instruction manual. Check this out. Like, fair enough, it's done It's done different languages, but Godzilla, wow. Uh, tagline. There isn't one. There is no tagline. The tagline is this lineup, which is going to be really blurry, I understand. I wonder if I can... Nope, I can't do anything for that. Um... So yeah, no tagline unfortunately. Godzilla, it's in there. And I think all of these came to in total about six or five pounds, somewhere around that. So five quid for five games delivered is not bad in my eyes. Okay. Next up. <laughs> all I ever get these days is football games, but know that I'm coming to the end of football games. I've I've literally looked down the list and seen how many more there are. I think there may maybe like three. 2002 FIFA World Cup. It's football. It's there. I'm not going to talk too much about it. It comes complete with a little note. Congratulations on winning my auction. I should probably... I don't know if hiding that really... You've already seen it now, so congratulations on winning my auction. Know that if you get something off ho Hockey 2010, uh, you'll get a nice note. Comes complete. Tagline... Only official licensed video game of the 2002 FIFA World Cup. Yeah. Um, I would say that I'm uh, looking forward to playing this, but I'd be lying. Next up. Now this one I got for relatively cheap, even though I had seen it go for quite a lot more, and that is Lord of the Rings The Third Age. Now, I saw this going for about, I think it was two two quid something, I can't remember. Previously I'd seen this go for, I swear to god, it was around about 12 to 15 quid or somewhere around there. Um, so the second this was going for two quid and it had like a couple of minutes left and no one had bid on it, I was like, yes, let's, let's do this. Um, it's supposed to be like a Lord of the Rings RPG-ish thing, which in theory, in my mind, that would be something I would go down and play. Um, but in reality, when it comes to actually playing these things, I can never really be bothered. I always think, oh yeah, that'd be cool. Like, I'd love to finally find an RPG where I can sink some time in and, and have some fun. And, you know, this this might be good. But uh, right now, eh, I, 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 yeah, again, in principle, love to play it. Probably won't. Uh, comes complete with the manual. Two discs. So, you know, it's got something in there. Tagline. One RPG to rule them all. If they didn't call, if they didn't use that as a tagline, they they missed a trick, didn't they? Really. Um, but yeah, I you know what? I might actually I might actually stick with that for a little bit. Um, I'll obviously play it for a stream at some point, but I might actually play this. Who knows? Uh, next up, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Four. Now I was a big Tony Hawk's fan back in the PlayStation One day. I think it was, yeah, with Tony Hawk's 2 and Tony Hawk's 3. I remember buying, and don't don't have a hissy over this one, but I remember buying the In Me album when I was very young and very teenage angsty, 
and playing Tony Hawk's 3, I think it was, for literally a weekend straight. I just sat down with that game and listened to that album and that game. You know when you have two things that kind of, when you hear one or see one, you, you recognise the other? Tony Hawk's, not just Tony Hawk's 3, but the series Tony Hawk's for me will always be synonymous with listening to music. Very teenage kind of in me and like Nirvana and things like that. Um, but Tony Hawk's 4 anyway, I never really got around to playing this one. I think I got out of it after 3. Um, didn't have a PS2 for the longest time and had a GameCube, but I had different games I was playing on the GameCube. Um, really didn't didn't see this one come around. I think the next time I really got into skating was American Wasteland, and then after American Wasteland was Skate. Uh, so, but yeah, comes complete. Manual is a bit... The guy said it was a bit water damaged, but still works fine. Even though, you know, how I guess a manual does work to a degree. Uh, it is, but, you know, I'm still counting it as complete. Tagline, drop in to the ultimate challenge. Drop in because it's like a skate term, I get it, because of skateboarding. Yeah, so that's there. We are coming to the end, don't worry guys. Next up, one that I had heard was um, relatively rare. It's not complete if you want to be pedantic about it, but uh, I picked this up for quite cheap when it, you know, when it was kicking around on eBay. And that is, oh god, how am I even going to... It's a Yu-Gi-Oh game, I know that much. The False Bound Kingdom, yeah. Sorry, for a second there I was expecting like, Yu-Gi-Oh, The False Bound Kingdom DX, version 6.2, lethal edition. Um, so yeah, I played Yu-Gi-Oh cards at some point in my time. I think everyone's played a collectible card game at some point in their time. I was a Pokemon a younger generation and then, uh, yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh hit me for a little bit. Um, not to say that was one of those people who was like, Yu-Gi-Oh, I wish I was fucking Blue Eyes White Dragon or whatever. Like, I, you know, I found the game intriguing, trap cards and stuff like that. So imagine how pissed off I was when I look at the back. I haven't played this yet. I look at the back and there is nothing to do with card battling. Absolutely nothing. This just looks like a really gay ass kind of run around thing. Gain experience, reach new levels and learn new... No, I don't want to do any of that. I want to I want to play Yu-Gi-Oh! If I could play Yu-Gi-Oh! Cool. Uh, it comes complete to the point um, where there isn't one of these three limited edition official games. This... I cannot focus for shit on here, can I? Three limited edition um, game card things, which is one of those on the back. Um... But other than that, no, it comes complete. Tagline, an all-new Yu-Gi-Oh! challenge. And that challenge is not actually playing Yu-Gi-Oh! the card game. Nah. Now, I could be totally wrong. Could be loads of card game things. But if it was a card game, why not show it on the back? Why not have a screenshot of that? All I can see is, like, this crappy-ass cutscene thing. This, oh, oh, thing. This kind of open-worldy kind of battle system thing where you're supposed to use, I don't know. And then this, which doesn't look particularly like anything. Looks like an explosion, but I don't see any cards. So... Yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh! It's there, anyway. Last two. This one... I'd heard a lot about. Metroid Prime. A lot of people online have said, like, Metroid Prime is, is a fucking phenomenal game. And I was glad on Valentine's Day, when I turned up with something from Lush for my girlfriend, that she gave me Metroid Prime, and two bars of chocolate, which one of them is at her house, because she took it back, she wanted some chocolate, so I'm, I'm a bar of chocolate down, but uh, Metroid Prime, I'm really happy to have this, I'm really looking forward to playing it as well, um, just because of all the high praise that people have been giving it, and I've been playing a lot of Metroid Fusion on the um, 3DS, uh, because it was like a free download thing, um, and I'm, I'm really enjoying that as well, and uh, much to my despair, when I open up the manual, see at the back that they're... where are we? Yeah, they're talking about all this uh, Metroid Fusion stuff. And if I had a Game Boy Advance version of Metroid Fusion with like an SP or something like that and linked it up to um, my GameCube whilst this was in, I could play the original Metroid. And I was like, ah, like, that would have been awesome. 
And then I realised that uh, on the 3DS, I actually got the original Metroid for free as well. So you know, I kind of wanted to do that connectivity thing just for the just for the fun of it. But <laughs> um, tagline comes complete. Yeah, tagline. Evil waits below the surface. So yeah, evil. But yeah, looking forward to playing this. And finally, last game. Twenty minutes in, last game. Uh, picked this up at a bargain price on a buy it now. Um, for me, at least, I thought it was a bargain price because it came complete. And that means a lot when you're talking about Animal Crossing. Now, uh, my girlfriend absolutely loves this. Uh, I like the aesthetic and I like how much she likes to play it because I like to watch her playing it. Um, but when I say it comes complete, I mean it comes complete. And that means with the memory card. Uh, we did have a look, and some guy's town was on here. I've forgotten what it was called. Maybe Keith or something like that. Um, and his town was called some like Wick Wick Town, because I'm guessing you couldn't put Wicked in. Um, but yeah, Animal Crossing. Really glad to have this. I think I got this for around about fifteen pounds. Uh, that's complete, and that was on a buy it now. And I've seen, I've seen the memory card go recently for around about four pounds and I saw another one go for about eight quid so people are trying to piece these things together but when this came up at 15 pounds complete memory card everything not having to piece things together um I just snapped this up straight away price you know I might have overpaid it like a tiny bit for this um but in my eyes 15 pounds for a complete version of this without having to fucking mess around with trying to find a copy of the game and bid on it and find a copy of the memory card bid on it and hope you get both and you know whatever comes up 15 quid done it's there it's in the collection tagline welcome to town thank you uh, a bit of kk slider there so that is everything um Wow, we got through a lot of games there. How many was there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 games. So uh, thanks everyone for tuning in. And uh, I hope to see you next time. See ya.